Hi guys, it's Dash your friend, and it's time for another Let's Play Ogre Type 3 DS. So, anyways, we're on our giant Skatula quest, and we gotta get some more Skatula. So there's a Skatula over here that I somehow missed, but I think this is a room that you couldn't enter before. Not 100% sure. So anyways, I got a Skatula thing because, you know, Skatula things are pretty dang awesome. So anyways, that's that, that ends all the ones I missed in the Fire Temple. There's one I missed in the Lake Hylia region, and uh, you, have to, you actually have to hookshot up here. You can hear this thing at night, but only at night, and um, I actually don't really like the night that much in Ocarina because there's like a lot of enemies and stuff, so I make it a point to make it day a lot. So once I get the Sun Song, I usually try to make it day, which is actually bad for Skatula questing. Uh, but anyways... Uh, you gotta come here and you gotta make it nighttime by playing the sun song and you can get a scatula here because, you know, this this scatula decided to build a tree house or, uh, I don't know, live on a tree stump here. I, I don't know. Decided to make it his home, but now we're gonna take it away from him. It's kind of cool how I latched onto it and instead of, like, it bringing it to me. Uh, but anyways, this, this, this part of the scatula quest was probably one of the most annoying parts. Just because I had to go through the water temple again and, uh... I had to check for all... I think there are five Skatulas here. I had to check for all five here. I think I only missed, like, one or two. Yeah, I only missed one there, and... Oh, that was painful. Anyways, there was a Skatula up there, and now we gotta go to the... Uh, the, the bottom of the well, which was also kind of painful, because I, I... I... You know, this place gives me the creeps a lot, because... One, I'm not Big Link. And it takes forever to kill Redeads, and Redeads are terrifying by all means. So anyways, uh, I actually missed a key here, but you got actually got to get the key. It's hiding in the, the room with the mummy in it, and it's actually, it's not in a treasure chest. It's in one of the uh, sarcophagus. The, the... Why do I want to say oven? I meant coffin. <laughs> I meant to wow. Okay, so anyways, um, you got to kill these guys, and I don't know why I'm throwing slingshot thingies at it. I, I, I should really be throwing my bombs at it. There you go. Have a big explosive breakfast. Actually, explosive breakfast sounds pretty dangerous. That's probably why I just died there. Anyways, you gotta use the lens of truth because there's pitfalls. You don't wanna fall in a pit because, you know, it's gonna be pretty bad. It's gonna hurt. Anyways, I actually fell down there <laughs> prior. Like, I, I opened the door and I was like, oh, hey, you know, there's floor here. I'm gonna step on it because, you know, that's what people do. I gotta step on all the floor here. And I ended up falling down to the bottom. And, you know, I got back up and now I'm here to get the scatula. So you can totally hear it here. Here it's here. So anyways, you gotta kill this guy because this guy's always being a jerk over here. What a jerkwad. Dancing around in pain. So anyways, you gotta kill this jerkwad. And then you gotta look over the other direction that I'm not looking at. And, uh... Yeah, there he is. There he is. Posing for the picture there when I posed for the rupee thing. So anyways, get your boomerang out and go ahead and grab him like people do. It's kind of weird. Link throws his boomerang straight if you don't aim, but if you aim, it goes, like, circular, which is, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So anyways, this is another part that I found particularly annoying, because I actually missed quite a few in the Shadow Temple. So there's this obscure route when you get to the guillotine room. You gotta use the Lens of Truth, and you can actually see these blocks here. Uh, without the Lens of Truth, you can't see these blocks, so you gotta use the Lens of Truth to see it. So you gotta go in here, and uh, this room here has another thing that you can't see with the Lens of Truth, so you best to keep it on on all times because you don't want to get cut by those things because it would hurt you're gonna need a lot of bandages to 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 stop the owie on that one uh but interestingly this guy didn't get hurt when it got slight it pretty much that thing went through him and he didn't get hurt he's probably got some like mega bandages in his pocket or something i need some mega bandages so you can hear this chill over there what you got to do here is actually got to kill all the little the little dudes here like this little bat dude here you got to kill him I think the bats are actually named Keese. I'm not 100% certain on that. I just call them bats because, like, Nintendo has a lot of bat enemies. There's, like, Zubat. Uh, there's Swooper from Mario. And then there's this dude. And they all kind of look the same. Uh, I, well, Zubat would probably look the most different because he doesn't have any eyes. But, like, they're all in a very similar shape. Like, Swooper, Zubat, and this thing. I think it's called the Keese. Uh, but all three have, like, similar shapes. So, always confusing. Uh, I tend to call these things swoopers because I'm most used to Mario and it doesn't look like a Zubat to me, so I, I, I end up calling them swoopers. Uh, but they're not swoopers, they're their own thing. So you got another Skatula here, and uh, you gotta shoot it with your hookshot so you can get its Skatula goodiness. So anyways, back into the other Shadow Temple. The Shadow Temple I think took me... No, 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 the Water Temple took me longer, but it took me quite a while because... 
uh, hard to reach some of them, but here you actually got to stand on this wooden little thing and you got to play the Scarecrow song. The Scarecrow song is pretty useful in getting all these Skatulas, but uh, play the Scarecrow song and the Scarecrow should pop up on the other side next to the Skatula. I actually saw that one in my run through and I was like, how do I get here? And then someone, someone in the audience was like, oh, you don't, you are not friends with Mr. Scarecrow, are you? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't even know who that is. And you know, Mr. Scarecrow is probably crying when he's watching this on his TV. Oh, so sad. So anyways, uh, out of the Shadow Temple, we got to go to Gerudo Valley. And there's one up here at night, which is uh, near the bridge area. So you just got to go ahead and shoot it. Uh, and then there's, uh, again, near the bridge area, there's one behind the tent. So you can go ahead and uh, shoot it and get it. Uh, I think right about here, I was at like 95 and I started freaking out. I was like... Okay, there's only like a couple more left. Like, did I miss any? I, I really started freaking out here, but uh, there was actually quite a few in Garuda Fortress that um, I missed, so I'm really glad about that. So, uh, here's another one right here. It's got to be night when you get it. And uh, there's another one. Uh, you actually got to go to the archery range, uh, and at the very end of it, you can see him kind of hanging out up there. Uh, you know, if you I I don't know if you did the archery challenge thing at night. Like, would you have? kill them up there i don't know maybe or would you have been able to see him i don't know man but anyways um i did that weird hook shot thingy and it's like almost morning so i was like i don't want to play the sun song again because that wastes time so anyways we got another gold skatula and now we can move forward uh, so anyways another gold skatula here you gotta uh dump the bug thing again so i think most of the places where you plant these magic bean things you can actually throw a bug thing onto them and you know the spider will come out and like I, lo I love how the little like um, plant thing fidgets when the bug uh, the, the bugs go in. It's pretty great. So anyways, we got another ghost chula, and uh, we can move on forwards. So there's another one over here. Obviously, it's got to be nighttime, so that's why I'm playing the sun song right now. So it's got to be nighttime, and this one's kind of annoying because, uh, or actually no, I think I messed up there. So I need, I need, yeah, I need to do. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, I nearly got killed when I was playing the song, but like these plants were all like. Oh, wait, guys. Hey, guys. Let's just stop. I really want to hear the song. And then we can kill them afterwards. But anyways, there's these, like, really annoying plant things that kind of annoy you. So it's hard to get this thing with these things going around. So you got to kill them, but, like, there's... I think there's... They spawn infinitely. There's no set number on them. So you got to be careful. But you can hear, like, another one is about to hit me. You can hear it in music. So you got to get one up there. And then I actually missed one here that I didn't realize. But this one was an easy one. You just gotta go in here as young Link and just hit over the box. I guess that guard over there was like, hmm, I've been hearing rustling in that box over there, but I don't bother to investigate because obviously it's nothing. Anyways, there's another one in Zora's uh, domain. Kind of interesting, kind of weird. The reason why I put iron boots here is because I didn't want to slip. So put on iron boots and you gotta look over to the left and there it is right there. It's right at the top of the waterfall. Uh, the icy waterfall, that is. I think you can only get this as adult Link, so uh, come here as adult Link if uh, you miss this one. Uh, anyways, there's another one in Hyrule Castle. I think this one's also got to be at night, but you got to run into the tree, and there it is. Mr. Skatula. Apparently, like, my sword got caught on the tree, even though the sword swings with the back swing. Uh, but anyways, we got to move forward, and this one's actually the last Skatula on the list. This is, uh, I distinctly recall I having 99 Skatulas. This one is a little bit more obscure to do. Uh, what you got to do is uh, get to the corner of the castle and play the Song of Storms. And playing the Song of Storms actually reveals this uh, this little area, this little patch of ground, like a little hole. And you can actually jump into the hole and be like, hey, there's a thing here. But uh, obviously, I don't think I was close enough, so I actually got to be closer. I don't know why I threw a bomb there. I think I, t I was like, I, I, I think it can open it if it throw a bomb, but you actually have to play the uh, Song of Storms here. So go and play it again. So yeah, it opens that thing pretty pretty nifty. Uh, this is an interesting Skatula because you can actually end up getting infinite Skatulas here. Like if you don't want to bother with the quest, you can just grind here and get infinite Skatulas. And I found that out on my quest here, which is pretty cool. You can also get lots of bugs here, which is neat too. But what's really cool is you can, if you do this right, you can get infinite Skatulas. So what you actually need to do is uh, you first got to find the Skatula. And that's not it, so it's over here. So what you got to do is you got to get your boomerang out and uh as you can see he's right over there so what you have to do is you have to kill it and then as you're exiting this area 
uh, you throw your boomerang at it. So you throw your boomerang out and then you exit it. If you time it right, you can actually get the, uh, you can actually nab the uh, uh, medallion and the game still registers as you not killing it. So because of that, you can kill it over and over, getting the medallion over and over and getting, you know, over a hundred. I didn't do it because I wanted to get all of them. Anyways, we're here. Look, they're all nice and happy, even though their house is still in, but you, dude, you guys like went from spider to nothing or spider to human. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you get 200 rupees if you if you complete this quest. But like, honestly, clean your dang house. It's so filthy. Like, I know you guys are going for that spider curse vibe, but geez, like, <laughs> clean it up. Anyways, uh, this is the last thing I forgot to do. Uh, but this is the area for the ice arrows. And uh, when I was first initially recording this, I didn't expect this to be that long. So I didn't anticipate to actually record it. Like with commentary on top of it. So I'm just kind of like doing this thing where I kind of blaze through it, sort of. But basically you gotta overcome these trials and get a bunch of keys and then you can totally do this. The trials actually, they're not too difficult themselves. They're just kind of tedious. Um, but you gotta kill this, these guys, like all, all of them. Stupid lizards. They're like dinosaurs, it's kind of cool actually. But uh, you gotta kill these guys. And, well, actually, I'm going to kill this guy because Mr. Laserface is pretty annoying. Who likes Mr. Laserface anyways? Anyways, we gotta, uh, so this is one of our first keys. So you got to get nine keys. It's kind of it's kind of comical how this place is set up. Like, you got to go through this area where you're just opening doors with keys. And there's like ten doors or something. Like, there's quite a few. Well, actually, there's nine because there's nine keys in total. Anyways, you got to cross the sea of fire. Uh, you got to... You, gotta, you, you have to have the hover boots here or else you won't be able to... Uh, get it like I think the earliest time you can actually get this thing or get, uh, get the ice arrows is the shadow temple like you have to like you don't have to beat the bongo bongo yet but uh, you obviously have to get these hover boots before continuing onward so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do my hovering thing getting all the cool stuff uh, but yeah this this area is kind of neat because it's like a it's like a little mini dungeon it's not terrible i don't even know what i'm trying to say it's not terribly many it's very reminiscent of like the ice cavern you know like it's a small dungeon but it still takes a significant amount of time to complete i guess like the ice dungeon i think is a little bit bigger but uh this is mainly for a side quest so there you have it anyways we got all the things there now we can do the things where i fall and do that isn't that neat anyways uh we got to go over there what's interesting about it is uh, what's over there is actually a water area. I'm gonna open this door, and uh, so you got a bunch of these block things. I love I love how they don't tell you that there's water underneath it, but you can figure it out with your song of time. So I actually I don't know what I was doing here, but I was actually doing this for a very long time. So I actually had to skip forward. <laughs> but yeah, apparently, like I actually played the Serenade of Water here, and I don't know why I did. I was like, oh, water! I must play the water song. That must be the thing I have to play. Anyways, yeah. You actually gotta play the Song of Time because that's what those blocks stand for. Uh, so anyways, you gotta go down here. And again, you gotta collect these uh, silver gems. Um, I'm actually, I, for those of you who've been with my channel a while and watched, you know, my Super Mario 64 thing or my, uh, no, just my other Let's Plays. I don't like collection quests that much uh, or... Like, you know, collect the eight red coins or collect the silver... I don't really like those at all. It's just it's just a, a bundle of annoyance here. So as you can see, this clam is also being a bundle of annoyance. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really like those type of quests. I like quests that... Uh, like, obviously, like, you know, when you have those collection quests, you want the player to explore cool environments. So, like, that's kind of cool. But, like, this is... This I see as, like, the busy work of, of video games where, like, you know how your, your, your teacher... I don't know, like, gives you an essay at school, and she's like, hey, write an essay, you know, describing uh, what a washing machine is, and, you know, please do it in 2,000 words. And it's like, it's like, dude, 2,000 words to describe a washing machine? I can do that in, like, like 10 words. And she's like, no, you got to do it in 2,000 words, or else it doesn't count for credit. And then you're like, oh, no. And then you spent, you spent your entire re weekend writing about washing machines and you don't know what to put after saying 
it's a thing that washes clothes and it's like automatic so I don't have to use my hands to do it and you have nothing else to write after that and it just becomes a mess so that's that's that that was a whole rant on my like collection quest things but that's that's what I kind of see them as um yeah but anyways we got to collect this stuff and there's a secret in this room so it's easily revealed after you kill these enemies so we can go ahead and kill these enemies but uh yeah, like, collection quest, guys. Like, what do, what do you guys think of it? Like, please leave your comments so I can see them, because I honestly don't know what people think of them. Like, I honestly don't really like them unless unless you can explore. Like, um, like re it, it, I, I guess I'm drawing another academic illusion where it's, like, uh, research papers are kind of neat if you're researching a cool topic. Like, you're researching, like, um, let's say, uh, uh, the impact of The Legend of Zelda in adventure games like that's really cool because like you know maybe you have to write a 2,000 page paper and that kind of sucks but like you're kind of you're finding out cool things along the way just how like exploring stuff is that's why I kind of see like the eight red coin challenges in Mario games where it's like you explore a vast environment finding these things and that's kind of cool right that's kind of cool but like when it's just in a small area with like stupid obstacles in your way and it's it just becomes less appetizing because you're not really exploring at that point anyways the secret of this room is you got to take the megaton hammer and you know smash these little tiki heads and these tiki heads move around so yeah that's my whole like two cents on that thing so anyways we got to open this chest and we get another key who would have guessed actually it's it's hard to tell what you get sometimes because like sometimes you get keys and sometimes you get rupees here there's not a lot of um things um, I actually had to skip forward here because I ended up missing, like, I don't know, like, 3,000 times. And, like, I didn't realize the the eyeballs here, like, resetted. So, uh, yeah, I, I actually had to skip forward because I, I, I was thinking about it. I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm not going to cast me just missing 300 million times. I, I'm sure it's not very fun to see either. So, um, yeah, you, all you got to do is just shoot these guys pretty awesome and not, you know, fall into lava and kill yourself like that so uh best to use the hover boots the hover boots um it's it's not my favorite item or tool thing in ocarina time like it's it's so slippery that i i, I just don't like it like it's kind of cool in terms of concept but like it's it's too slippery yeah it's just way too slippery so we gotta open this thing we get another key so anyways um i'm kind of curious to know you guys' opinions but like what are your favorite items in ocarina of time and what is your least favorite i think my least favorite is actually the uh the the hover boots i'm not a big fan of them like the iron boots are kind of cooler because you can walk underwater and you're like more secure and stuff and that's kind of cool and like when you're in rooms with fans they can't push you so it's like it's pretty cool um but yeah the the uh the hover boots not so much i think i think my favorite is i'm gonna say the hook shot the hook shot's probably my favorite that's probably a staple in most Zelda games anyways, but I really like the hook shot. Uh, the double hook shot is even better, like in Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess. Um, but anyways, last room, we got the key, we just had to beat the two guys. Uh, here's another one, you know, one of those lengthy essays, it's like your teacher comes up to you and is like, please write a 3,000 page paper about pants. And you're just like, uh, you just wear them, I guess. And She's like, no, you get an F because I wanted to know more about pants. Uh, and then later you find out that your teacher actually never wears pants. She wears dresses all the time. And you're like, what the heck, teacher? Uh, so anyways, um, well, that'd be weird if it was a male teacher because then he'd be wearing kilts all the time. I'd have to do a Scottish accent for that. Um, but anyways, um, you got to do this thing here. Like, I, I screwed up so badly on this because, like... Um, the gyroscope aiming is kind of annoying on the 3DS because, like, if you move your DS ever so slightly, you get, like, this little tilt. Like, you can aim with gyroscope stuff, and it's kind of annoying. Um, anyways, I fell down here because I thought there was a thing down here, but obviously the blackness of the hole told me otherwise. So anyways, you have to restart if you ever do that. So don't do that, guys. Don't jump into mysterious pits that uh, may look like they have no... I can't English. That may look like they have no bottom. Anyways, you gotta, I gotta do this thing again. Yeah, honestly, like I, I really don't like these uh, busy work collection quests. That's what I see them as. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool that we get something cool at the end, but they could have done something way better. Uh, definitely, 
uh, 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 an extreme case. I know I said I kind of like them when you can explore a lot of things, uh, but an, ex an extreme case like where I didn't like the exploration of it was actually in Wind Waker. Uh, Wind Waker's collection quest, you know, the Triforce quest, it was pretty awful just because there wasn't cool environments to explore. It was just like, oh look, it's open ocean. Oh look, it's more open ocean. Hey, guess what? You gotta change directions. You gotta play a song. Hey, look, more open ocean. So that kind of sucked. But I heard in the uh, the Wii U version, there's a thing called the Swift Sail. And you actually can sail pretty fast. And you don't need to... Um, you don't need to change the direction of the wind. Which is pretty, pretty nifty, if I say so myself. Uh, so anyways, uh, we got the collection quest thing, thing here done. And I keep forgetting there's a fire thing here. But there's a fire thing here, guys. Beware. But we got this thing done, and it just opens the door. We don't get any keys or anything, so that kind of sucks. So anyways, uh, you'll be confounded by impossible mysteries here if you don't have the right item. I think I was, like, paused there because I was, like, scratching my nose or something. Um, yeah, so anyways, you got to get the lens of truth, and you can see there's a little hole up there. Uh, don't go into that door because that door is a fake. It will fall on your face. So this little werewolf here, dude, is kind of funny. Um, I really like how he can block sword swings with his hands. Like, how strong my hands you need there? Like, what are your bones made of? Probably like Hylian Shield material, because Hylian Shield is like indestructible. So uh, we'll see about that. So, anyways, we got to go over here and collect the treasure chest. That uh, treasure chests, I guess. So we got a bundle of arrows. I guess that's pretty cool. So. Um, this area, you gotta have the silver gauntlets to move it. Uh, silver gauntlets you get at the spirit temple. So you can actually complete this dungeon without doing this, because uh, or this mini dungeon or whatever. You can complete it without doing this, because you only need seven out of the nine keys to complete it. But I think I actually get all seven, maybe? I don't know. I actually had to go back for one, because uh, I missed one. You guys are actually going to see that in a moment, but uh, you actually... So for over here, you got to get the Lens of Truth and the hook shot, not the arrow, because apparently I wanted to shoot some doors with some arrows. Uh, I think you can actually kill that thing with Din's Fire, uh, but I don't opt to do that because I want to get more keys because I really want the ice arrows, even though I'm probably not going to use them at all. Actually, they'd probably be pretty useful for like any of the mini, you know, mini bosses or like the... The Enforcer Ruffians in, in Ganon's castle. Um, so anyways, over here, uh, Navi goes over here. You can actually play the Scarecrow song to bring on our old friend the Scarecrow over here. And, um, yeah. You can use him as a shortcut. I actually was trying to activate him uh, when I was here earlier uh, because Navi kept flying up there. I was like, I can totally get the Scarecrow thing up there, but for some reason he just never popped up. So that took like an hour. <laughs> I was just like, why isn't he popping up? And I was trying like every single different angle, but he just wasn't doing it. I, you know, I think the better way is just to go up there. But anyways, we can go over here and kill these blob of jigs. So this is the area where I missed one of the keys, but I actually go and get it after. Uh, but this jerk face, you know, totally stole my tunic and my shield. So I got to get back from him. What a jerk. This kind of reminds me of like in the in Paper Mario where you know the the monsters like they steal your ability to, to attack. Uh, actually, I think that's worse. Like, oh no, the guy stole your jump ability. Oh no, the guy stole your item ability. Oh no, the guy stole your uh, hammer ability. Oh no, the guy stole your ability to run away. Now you can't do anything, and then you just gotta rely on your partners after that. And that kind of sucks. I wonder if they can steal your partners. I actually don't know. I never went that far. Anyways, you gotta kill these guys, and um, you get a bunch of chests here. Yay! I thought I actually thought that one was the key, but uh, tricks on you guys. It's not the key. It's another thing. Neither is this thing up here. It is a trick. It is an ice trick. Ha! Yeah, it is an ice like the pun on nice. Because I had to explain it, the joke. <laughs> because I had to explain it, it makes the joke like a million times better. You know? No, it doesn't. Um, anyways, that's a golden rupee, 200 rupees, pretty pretty valuable. Uh, so I come back here because I realize I missed it, but you actually got to use the lens of truth. And uh, using the lens of truth, uh, you can actually see there is a thing here, and you can open it. And you have a key afterwards. So anyways, uh, yeah, back to business. Uh, we got to go over here. This is another obscure key. 
Really, really obscure, actually. You gotta play the, the Song of Time here, which is really obscure because you actually don't see one of the blocks, but the cue that gives it away is Navi flies over there, and it's kind of like, well, I don't know, man. I don't know. But anyways, you get a little nice, neato staircase, and you gotta use your... Uh, nifty little hover boots. Like the, this thing, like abuses the hover boots. I honestly really don't. Well, I, I don't really don't like them. I just I'm not very fond of the hover boots. I'm just you know they're okay, but they're not the greatest thing in the world because they're so freaking slippery. But there's a key over here. All you gotta do is just grab the key and uh, yeah, you can go over here. And over here has all the cool stuff. So all you gotta do is just open this treasure chest in the middle and you get the nice treasure of treasures. That treasure being the ice arrows. Uh, this thing's kind of nice, I hear, like it, to use on Bongo Bongo, because like Bongo Bongo actually freezes if you shoot him with it, which is pretty neat. Uh, but anyways, like it, it's a useful thing, like comparably to the fire arrows, which is I think more puzzle oriented. This is more combat oriented because it can freeze enemies on contact. It's pretty neat. Uh, light arrows are also pretty nifty because they can take out uh, those scary. Um, Deads. But anyways, uh, that ends the episode. So on the next episode, we're actually going to go off and face Ganon because we pretty much got uh, a lot of our arsenal ready. We got all the Skatulas and we got all the heart pieces. There's one more fairy fountain that we need to find, but we actually need the golden gauntlets for that. And I believe you find that in Ganon's castle. So uh, on the next episode, we're going to Ganon's castle. Yay. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I shall see you guys on the next one.